<laughs> Thought that was a Nazi, but it's a tree. <laughs> hey you. Oh, there's three of them. Oh dear. Kill ratio, 100%. Achtung. <laughs> Is that German or is that Russian? 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 Ich schmeiß das deutschen Falsches! Welcome to another Karina vs. FPS where I take Karina, an ordinary hard-working professional who isn't a gamer, and make her play a first-person shooter before sharing her thoughts after the fact. After questing through the labyrinth in our previous video, Karina was pitted against another game by id Software, the very next first-person shooter they developed, Wolfenstein 3D. Or is it Wolfenstein 3D? Wolf 3D has earned a legendary status as the game which really brought together all the elements we now consider a first-person shooter to comprise. It's also historically sandwiched between Catacomb 3D and a certain other game, so inevitable comparisons will be made. I'll be subjecting her to it using the excellent EC Wolf Source port on her own home machine without my peering over her shoulder constantly, due to the lockdown in her region. Karina slides into the Nazi stomping boots of BJ Blaskowitz, but will she find it better than the wizardly ways of her previous protagonist? Let's find out. So unlike the previous game, I was forced to play this one before. I vaguely remember this one. I think I remember it being kind of more confusing the last time, but I was more aware this time that I need to kind of come up with a system so that I don't get lost. So what I tried to do was to systematically work my way around the doors so that I knew where I'd been and that I wouldn't keep going around in circles. So that worked quite well with the first level. When it came to the second level, it was a bit more complicated, but I did get to the end fairly quickly compared to what I usually do. So yeah, that's what I tried this time. It worked a good bit better. Compared to the last game I played, which was uh, Catacomb 3D. I mean, this game in its layout is similar. They're all very much of a muchness. Catacomb 3D, I got a bit lost in that one as well. That I? I was kind of going around in circles. That seems to be the main issue, is I just keep going around and around in circles. And sometimes it gets a bit frustrating. The second level was quite complex. There was obviously a lot more doors. I, I wish there was some other way of knowing how many of them have you killed so far. You know, that would kind of help you navigate your way around to know if you're going in the right direction. But I guess obviously that's not how it's made. So I enjoyed this one a bit better than the last one. You know, it was good in that I wasn't a wizard, I suppose. I had a gun this time. So the last game used fireballs. Then fireballs didn't run out. I always prefer to have a gun and this time around I noticed that I could run out of ammo. So I was playing with a bit more power so I knew I had to collect ammo whilst trying to make sure I didn't get lost. There was a point when I was playing it that I ended up with about six rounds of ammo left. And then I realized I actually thought the little blue things were keys. I didn't realize they were ammo at first. <laughs> yeah, so that was good. I prefer the guns, I think. Although the advantage of the fireballs is that they didn't run out. I have to be totally honest, I wasn't paying much attention to the music. I usually turn it right down. It was just noise in the background to me. The enemies in this game were, I, they were just little, the little officers. Oh, and then they were, on the second level, I, I found like figures, were they soldiers or something? And the dogs, I didn't really like killing the dogs, to be honest with you. It was good that there was a bit more variety. I, I think in the last game, there wasn't that much variety, but I, I don't think I got as far into the game. Thanks, kids. I assume if I had gone up through the levels, there would have been, you know, boss enemies to fight. But yeah, I thought there was a good variety. and They weren't all lumped together, you know, the way sometimes you go around a corner and there's about five all the time. You know, there might have been one that crept up behind you, and then there might have been three in a room. And then there was a room that had dogs, soldiers, and uh, the bigger soldiers in them, which was, uh, <laughs> which was fun to navigate. They released Doom after this. Didn't know that. Jeez, that was a jump up, wasn't it? Yeah, there's really not much comparison between the two. Wolfenstein's 3D, I guess, is a good primer to Doom, but comparing that to Doom, like there's no way you would say it was better than Doom. Doom is far superior to that game. But I suppose if you're someone who is like me, who doesn't really play these games a lot, 
Wolfenstein 3D is probably a good like starter, but yeah, you can't really compare the two, I don't think, graphics wise and you know things like that. The levels were they were very similar. And um, what helped was this time there was a variety of walls so I could kind of better navigate my way around. So there was bright blue walls, there was walls with pictures on them, and that really helped um, navigate your way around. I get a bit kind of nerfed when you can't interact with the objects there. There was a lot of objects there that I couldn't really work out what they were supposed to be. Am I supposed to interact with them? Am I supposed to lift them? I quite like the level design. I think the last one was a bit samey. Um, it was harder to navigate your way around, but I always uh, I always seem to have a problem with that, don't I? I kind of just liked its simplicity, to be honest with you. You know, I don't need all that narration or anything like that. I don't need the storyline. I just like to get straight into the game, try not to get lost and shoot things, that's really it. I just enjoy these straightforward games that don't have all that talking at the start of it. I mean, I probably could have played it for longer. I didn't want to be playing it all day, you know. But I probably could play it all day, you know. it's I can't, I can't say I'm the only person who's like this who can sort of really immerse themselves in quite a, a simplistic game. <laughs> you know, it gets like really addictive. So there you have it. Another thumbs up for the boys from id Software and another shooter revitalised by a great source port. Will the streak of good games continue? Find out next time. <laughs>